Hey everyone, welcome to another app installing review from Maxta Studio for your Fire TV stick. This video is especially for the Vodafone customers. As you know, most of the telecom operators do provide the live streaming services and most of them are tied up with the Apelia service private limited to provide the live TV services. So let's take a look on that. So the first one comes the Vodafone. Since we are going to review the Vodafone for today. So this one was the first service provided by the Vodafone for the live TV which is provided through Apple Technologies. The next we'll see about the BSNL. So even they do provide the live streaming through Apple Technologies. And then even the idea Apple Technologies. Okay. However, the Vodafone do provide their own TV service which is called as a Vodafone Play. So this is the app which you're going to install in your Fire TV stick to watch live TV shows and movies etc. Let's install the app. Okay, the app got installed. Let's close the Play Store and then open the Super Backup to check whether the app got backed up. Yes, it got backed up just now. So close it. Okay, so in the previous video of installing Geo TV on your Fire TV stick, we were using the apps to fire application so on today's video we are going to do something different we are going to use the cloud storage to install the app on your fire tv stick yeah so the most famous cloud storage is the dropbox so open your dropbox app in your device and click on add Upload files. Yes, Explorer. And then look for the super backup. APKs. Yeah, here comes the Vodafone Play. Click on it the normal way. So the APK will be uploaded. Yes, it's done now. So closing it. Now let's move to the Fire TV stick. So guys, here we are with the Fire TV stick. And now moving on to the ES File Explorer. So this is the home screen of the ES File Explorer. Now going on to the cloud. I've already configured my Dropbox account with the ES Explorer. So it does appear over here. So for you guys, you have to click on the new and then select your preferred online st storage. So in my case I have used the Dropbox account so now I am opening mine so the apps which I have loaded in my Dropbox account do appear over here now selecting the Vodafone APK Loader. Let's install. Installing it.
let's have little patience may take some time in the meantime keep your order phone number with you why because uh, the app do ask for your registered email account and uh, the mobile number to activate the service If you had read the description of the app in the Play Store, it actually suggests you to open the app with your Vodafone network first time and then you can use your Wi-Fi network to use the device. So I'll just click on done or okay let me do one thing let me just open the app and show how it actually looks the first screen appears here uh, you can just ignore this message just click the back button and you will be asked for the two information the first one being your phone number and the next one being your email id registered so uh, i'll just enter these things and uh, also i'll connect the fire tv stick with my Vodafone network through the hotspot and I'll open the app first time and close it back and I'll be back with the connecting through Wi-Fi so guys uh, back with uh, the Fire TV stick I uh, did configure the Vodafone play with my hotspot the Vodafone hotspot and uh, entered my details uh, now I can actually use this app through Wi-Fi so I'm opening up the app so the Google Play services you can just ignore it it automatically disappears and the first start the cursor will be pointing over to the three dotted icon over there I have to just come down and uh, select your categories that to the live TV, movies, TV shows, kids, sports, music, whatever. And I'm moving on to live TV. And here it comes. So when you sc scroll with your uh, the down down key, uh, you can see the channels actually changes, but the channel icon takes some time to get updated over here. So for which uh, what I'm going to do is use my mouse toggle so which you actually know you have to click the play fast button twice so it appears so you have to click the forward button and now you can see the channels do change so let me just play the NDTV with it, the definition of the light so the initial clarity of the TV will be a little shaky or the clarity will be too low so after some time it will be back to the maximum available so let's just uh, move back have to click the back button twice so that the TV screen closes and uh, you will have an option to filter the languages and the children so I'm just clicking on the languages so these are the languages available Okay, so the surprise thing about this app is this app service is absolutely free for the Vodafone customers and they do not need to pay even a single rupee for month or for year as well. The service was actually started a long back. However, I did use the service a few months back, say in the last year, in the month of November, I guess. 
so when you're using it in your iOS device they were actually giving you three months of free trial which I utilized completely after the three months period uh, they were saying like it will be costing around 99 or 100 rupees per month along uh, excluding tax since I'm an uh, postpaid customer but after a few months say like after January I figured it out this app is completely free and you need not pay for this service at all so that's the reason I'm back with this app and this will be an alternative to your Geo TV app but not actually why because the Geo TV servers do offer around 440 channels but we are in this case uh, we have only limited maybe like the languages available or the vast however the channel numbers are limited it's not as Geo TV however for Geo TV you need to have a subscription but here in this case the Vodafone customers do get the service completely free so that's all for today guys thanks for watching